Everybody, what's going on? It's crazy. Listen up, listening podcast. How's everybody doing? It's Sunday. What what day is it? Sunday, May twenty first, twenty twenty three. I'm sipping on some coffee, and I'm not even supposed to have coffee, guys. I'm really not supposed to have it. Mm. But uh, I could cheat a little bit. I could cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I have any coffee. I have a coffee. I have my water right here too. Water is very important. So gotta have your water. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Sipping on some coffee on a Sunday evening. It is 9 18 p.m. in New York City. I don't know where you are at, but I hope that you had a beautiful day today. The sun was out. It was a little chilly in New York, but it was still a nice day. I love to see the sun. As long as I see the sun, we can still have some fun. It might be a little chilly, chilly, but it's okay. Anyway, I hope everybody was having a good, had a good day today. It is nighttime, and wherever you at, if it's not nighttime, I still hope that you had a good day with your family, with your friends, with your husband, wife, lover. As long as you had a good day. And before I even get started, all praise to Jehovah God and Jesus Christ every day. Amen. Believe him. It is true. Love yourself. That's what we got to do. It's about self-love. Love you first because you can't love anyone or anything unless you love yourself first. Remember that it's all about self-love. All about self-love, baby. Um, Before I get started, defamatory, harassing, obscene, or racist content is prohibited on this podcast. That's for sure. Please be respectful when participating in the live show. And by using the call-in feature, you understand that... Your voice may be recorded and published by the host. The host is Moa Crazy. Yes, click your heels three times. I'm up here. Well, give me twenty dollars. Let me borrow twenty dollars to the mall. Everything. Will be. <laughs> anyway, Giggles is in the his house. <laughs> I see Super Sam Junior join the room. Hey. What up, what up, what up? What's up, Giggles? Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm over it now. I'm over it. I'm over it. Giggles, you there? <laughs> I'm right you. here. Yo, this is, this, this is really comedy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Gig. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go. <laughs> I have no comment. Giggles in the house. Giggles. Yes. This be some funny. I'm telling you. We could do all. Every time. Every the testing in the world. Time. It doesn't matter. Gig, you know what? You're going to have to start coming to my studio. You're just going to have to. Come. Every damn and time. You're going to just have to come. And uh... <laughs> I swear. <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't. Every, I tell you what, gig. I tell you what. 
hang up and call me back. I, 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 I said, hang up and call me back. You come back on through here. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. What up, MXGRDWT? Yeah. Let me see if my girl coming on. Gig, you there? Can you hear me now? Again, no. Gig. Yo, man, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Either my roadcaster just don't like you. They don't like me. <laughs> he doesn't like me. It's okay, dude. Let me try something. I got this. I got this, kid. Don't worry. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <sighs> oh, you there? I don't know what to tell you, darling. Try it again. Try it again. You never give up. You never give up. You always fight. You fight. You fight till you get it right. That's what it's all about, Gig. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> gig, it's okay. It's all right. We, we gonna work this out. We got a lot to talk about tonight. Gig is coming back. She coming back. We got a lot to talk about. Oh, I was on a show last night. I did a show last night. We talked about so many different things. Oh, my. I know, Gig. We're going to try this again, babe. Something is Giggles is on the speaker now. You there? This no. is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why it doesn't want my friend to come on. It, 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 maybe it's, did you do something to my machine? Did you? Did you kick it? Did you? What? There you go. Did you come in my house and... Did I do what? Did you kick my machine? Or... Why would I do that? Hmm? It's a conspiracy. Is it? Yes. You're still not actually on, but I'm gonna... Your machine don't like me today. I did not like you. Not Yesterday was fine. Yeah. I don't know, gay. It's... The blasted nerve. That's what I'm saying. You never give up. Never give up. You always, you always keep trying. It could be ah, the connect gig. I don't know. Like the thing automatically sets up, and for some reason, it's always you. <laughs> it's always you. It's always you. It's always me. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm stressed I'm enough. Stressed. You need to get yourself together, boo. Blame it on a boogie. <laughs> Sunshine. Moonlight. Good times. Boogie. <laughs> it's all right, baby. It's blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 yourself. <laughs> it's okay, Gig. You got this. You got this. I was just saying that we had a good show last night. Yeah. Thank you, Gig, for posting that. You're doing something right. Check my, Whatever. um... Check my podcast out, guys. Listen up, listen in. Podcast. Uh, www, listen up, listen in, 5687.com. Facebook, listen up, listen in. Instagram, listen up, listen in, 5687. And if you want to ever come on the show, or if you're an entrepreneur, you got a career, you got some books you want to promote, you got some things you want to talk about, hey, email me. Listen up, listen in, 5687 at gmail.com. I need y'all to check out my my show on my website, www.listenuplistening5687.com. It is on the screen. You're going to love the episodes that I have. I have, whew, I got a lot of episodes. Season one was really awesome. Great guests. Had some fun. That's what it's all about. I'm sipping on some coffee. Not really supposed to drink no coffee, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, and I'm feeling good inside. Just don't listen. Don't listen. I listen. Listen. I'm listen up, listen in. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm listen up, listen in. I, I got to listen. What you talking? Yeah. Listen yeah. up, listen in. <laughs> I'm listening up and I'm listening. And when you put the listen up and listen in together, that's what it is. All right. Gig, what we talking about tonight? Yes, we yes. gonna we gonna be on here for an hour. Said we was gonna be on here for just an hour tonight. It's passing through Sundays. <laughs> Real quick. Literally, literally. Everybody got to go to work tomorrow. It's Monday. We know how that could be. You know what are you gonna do? 
Gotta go to work, baby. Gotta pay these bills. Gotta pay these bills. That's what it's about. You know? But super super Sam Jr. says, I am working tomorrow. Hey, you got a job. That's what's up. That's what's up, Super Sam. With a name like that, I know you got a super job. Super Sam Jr. That's what's up. Gotta work. Nothing is free. Now, I ain't never went in my backyard and seen a money tree. Could you imagine if we had a money tree? I'll be out there picking all day. This this right here for Louis Vuitton. This for Gucci. <laughs> Let me see. Gotta get my coat. I'll be picking. Man, we be. The world would be a better place. But the money tree gotta be everywhere, though. Money don't make happiness, though. People got to understand that. Money does not yeah, make happiness. But, but, it, but it help a little bit. <laughs> it help a little bit. It help a little bit. But it doesn't bring happiness. Just think about it. You be having, you be hearing stories about people who have millions, millions, millions. They're always getting in trouble. They're getting on drugs. They're not happy. They kill themselves. They kill themselves. So that's what I'm saying. Money ain't everything because you can have all of that, but you're missing something. You still could be missing something. And that is the important thing. It's not about money. I could tell you this. I still like to try it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me get a couple of dollars extra in my pockets, in my coat pocket, in my sneakers, by the railing. In the radiator, <laughs> on top of the shelf, between the curtains, underneath the piano, in my slipper, on top of the fan, in the refrigerator, in the cabinet, inside the dog food, behind the cat's bowl, underneath the couch, next to my wig, <laughs> by the oh towel. My God. Buy my sneakers. Listen, y'all get the y'all get the message, right? Y'all get it. I wanna be rich. Wasn't that a song? Yes. Yes, that was a song. I wanna be rich. But see, you can be rich, but you have to be rich on other things. Spiritualness of richness. You need to be spiritually rich. You need to be loyal rich. Faithful rich. Friendly rich have class rich. You got a lot of people out here that are rich. They nasty, disobedient, angry, mean, hateful. That's that, that's why they money ain't growing right. It ain't right. See, if I was rich, I'd be on some old type of new level. You wouldn't even know I was rich. You ever see the people? Gig, you ever be in Manhattan, you see, you know the people that you could tell when they rich? Yep. You could tell when somebody's a millionaire. Man, I'm telling you, you come to New York City, what you see? What you see, Gig? Because I'm going to tell my side. What do you see? I mean, you could tell they have the cars, the clothes. No, Gig. The attitude is just... Mm. No, Gig. No. I think you're missing a point. Not really. The people that are rich, that are smart, they wear regular jeans. Well, you didn't say the smart plain old, jeans. Plain old sneakers. Nope. They plain. I can always tell this person got dough. They wear the plain old jeans, regular sneakers, regular T-shirts, and just be going about their day. They way sitting in a cafe. Crossing their legs, reading the paper. Those be the millionaires. Because their money is invested in stocks and trades and all other stuff, properties. They don't have to always come out with the Louis and the Gucci and the Chanel. They don't have to. Their money, making money, is investing money. And you can always tell the people, 
And I'm not saying everybody, because you got millionaires, they, they flashy, they come out, they flashy, they doing their thing, they showing off their Chanel, their Gucci's. But the ones that is, that's no interest to them, you only see them wearing that when they go into the galas, to the art shows, to the special operas, to the award shows, to the media. But when they come out, when they be on what's the street, what Fifth Ave, or they be on Park Avenue, and they be coming yeah. out their little hotels, their rooms, or they coming out their 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 condos, or you know wherever they be coming from, they be playing. Most of the time, you if you see them dressed up, they going out somewhere. They going to a Broadway play, or they going to a gala. Like I said, they going to some dinner. Most of the time. You see them come out, they walk in the dog. The dog be flashy though. The dog be, the dog be, the dog be fly. Fly his haircuts. That's how you know. Dog be having a fade better than humans. Just looking sharp. That's how you know. Oh, this person is, they smart. They ain't letting everybody, now you see where I'm coming out. You see where I live at. That's, that's number one clue right there. But they don't come out. With all the jewelry on and all of this, they don't do that. They go because they don't want people to know their status. I'm trying to be chill. I'm an average person. I just got dough. And that's how I would be. If I was rich, I wouldn't be going out getting no yachts, no jet planes. First of all, I'm scared. So why am I going to buy something that I'm scared to get in? So I'm going to have a boat. <laughs> I'm going to have a boat sitting in the water. Oh, you so pretty. Oh, <laughs> people, people, could, your gig, people come by. Oh, you got a, you got a pretty boat. I'll be like, yeah, this is my boat. Oh, what? Name me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> your boat is pretty. When, when you going to get on it? Huh? Oh, no. I just, it's just there for I sure. Yeah, I take pictures on it, you know what I'm saying? I, it don't move. I sit on it and, and I have parties, but I'm scared of the water, so it just sit at the dock. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wasted money. So that's stupid. So I wouldn't buy, I would invest in just trying to make my money just grow and grow and grow and grow. Yeah, you would buy nice things, because what's the sense of having all this money when you can't buy what you want? Yeah, but after a while, all that stuff depreciates. As soon as you walk out the store, it all went down. It depreciates. Yes, it's nice to look nice and be proud that you are a millionaire, but you want to continue to be, to keep being a millionaire. So you got to invest your money. You got to put it in things that's going to make it grow. And I think that's what people mess up on. They buy, 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 but they're not invested. So that's why I watch the people in Manhattan. You can, well, you know. I know, I know. And then you see the same people, right? The regular jeans, the T-shirt, the skip sneakers. Where, who coming to pick them up? You see the limo. Or you see the, the big, what's the big trucks? Tacos? What are they called? What they call gig? Because I know you're gonna tell me I'm saying it wrong. What big truck? You talking about them semi trucks? What are you talking about? Yeah, them real big trucks they be using for for you know to pick up people. Them big old Tonka trucks. Them big oh, old. Okay, I know you're talking about. I forgot them. What them trucks? What? what? Name me, girl. What's them trucks? <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> it's gonna take my tongue, but I can't. But they huge. That's that's how you know. Yeah, be I'm knowing they be about. picking them up. Yeah, like they got money. They can, you can tell they got money. They got dope. That's how I would be. If you was rich, what's the first thing that you would get, gig? And how would you do your money? But before you even answer, let me shout out Armida. <laughs> what up? Thanks for joining. How would you do it, gig? Well, of course, I'll have to make sure, you know, I would have to hit certain people off. Of course, my daughter would have bank account fine mine of course you know every, people know who, who they are <laughs> i better be on that list got you you already know so i don't even gotta say it but of course i would invest i wouldn't get no i would get a car 
I would get a house, not no huge mansion. I don't need all that. It's just me and my and my kid. I don't need all that space. And I, of course, I would invest, give to charities. I would definitely move. <laughs> bye bye <sighs> New York. But yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't you. blow my. I wouldn't blow it because. I think that's just kind of dumb. <laughs> I would got to invest. A lot of people, you know, they or they win the lottery to put up. They don't know how to act. Of course, I'm going. The lawyers will help me with that. Gotta go to a lawyer. Financial advisor. So, you need a lawyer just to watch a lawyer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm paying you to watch that. Exactly. Yeah. I would make it work for me, you know. I would love to know the feeling, though. Yes. I'll probably be in shock for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Who, me? I what? Are you serious? For real? Yeah, I'd be in shock, but I surely know what to do. I know what to do. I definitely would give to charities, though. I would definitely give to charities, and I would choose probably five in different, you know, countries that need it. Not over. I wouldn't overdo it because you know everybody. Would, if I if you hit the lottery, everybody calling you. But they, not, they wouldn't be I, able to. Well, in New York City, you will have to display who you are if you hit. So well, yeah, I, I, I ain't no hard in that. I can ignore the phone calls too. Ain't nothing. So they wouldn't be. Able They'd to be at me. your door. Okay. Who said I'll be home? Uh, Miss Giggles, we heard I'm you not, hit the letter. We was wondering if you could just the please what? give a donation. <laughs> the letter. We was wondering if you could just please give a little donation to our foundation, please. Don't come to my house. I will oh, we leave. won't leave your steps until we do. Okay, could you just fine. could you just please give a donation? Is that okay? That is Maybe perfect. having pickets. Stay right there. You stay right there. <laughs> now give back, give back. Better to give. That's what they say. It's better to give. So, one day, but you gotta play, be in it. You gotta play it to be in it. I don't gamble. Yeah, I go to casinos. I walk real fast. When I gotta get to my hotel room, I walk real fast. Cause you be hearing, and I be like, oh man. Nope, nope. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Cause you put twenty in, you put forty in, you put sixty in, you put eighty in. I had one, I did it many, many years ago, and I said I would never, I'm not, because I couldn't stop, and I wouldn't do it again. No, people do it for fun, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to, I hate to lose $20. You're shaking this machine, get back my $20. I'll be mad, so I don't play. Anyway, the WNBA is back. (laughs) WNBA is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, if you are a fan of the women's basketball, it's back. And I'm I'm excited because I love basketball. That is my favorite sport. It doesn't matter if it's men or women. Men, you know, you love it because they be slamming the dunking. You ain't seen them going up in the air. They just be flying. They be going. They be flying from one court to the other. You be like, oh, my God, he's still in the air, girl. And I love NBA. But the WNBA, I love it, too. It's exciting. It's I love it. I love it. It came on today. We were supposed to go, but unfortunately, we didn't go. I got this cast on. I really wasn't feeling too good today. So this is, you know. Ah, we go to the next game. Do you know when the next game is? You have the roster in front of you? Do you know? Do you know when you're going to? Do you know when the next game is going to play, boo? Tell me what we gonna do. Do you know? No, you don't got it in front of you? Well, you went to the basement? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Super Sam Jr. says he loves my music. Me, 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 me. 
We put, thank you, Super Sam. We're supposed to do a game night. We're going to get that together with y'all. Well, whoever wins gets a listen up, listen in t-shirt. We can, we got to mail it to you or we can just drop it off at one of the bushes. If you're in an area, if you're afraid to, you don't oh think that God. you may think it's a scam and you get nervous, uh, we can drop it off anywhere you want. <laughs> bushes in the park. Whatever you want us to do, it'll be in a bag. We, we want to play game night. Listen up, listen in. Game night. We want to do a poetry Maybe. night. I'm, I'm going to post it. Why are you laughing, Gig? Sitting in the bushes, damn. I'm trying to say, people scared. Listen, people scared to give up their address. If you have a P.O. box, well, don't if you, you win, it. huh? We'll, we'll take a slingshot and fling it to y'all, something. Ding. It's May 27th. Long, the next game is May 27th? Yes, yeah, Saturday at. Hey, a lot is happening on May 27th. Listen, they having a boat thing for the kids. Yeah, that's a two hour. Weekend. Yeah, two hour um, ride in Manhattan, and it's some. It's gonna be some characters that's gonna be in the boat. It's for the kids. I'm gonna show you that. That's gonna be a very busy weekend. But you got the game. You got that. Wow, we got a lot to do. Better get out there and start hustling. <laughs> Notice the silence in the room. Why? Come on. Just Why are you causing a scene right now? You know what? This the scene. <laughs> you better, come on now. Super Sam Jr. says, I wonder if I can't wait until I have my own place. And I will let you know when you send it to me in the future, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Are you kidding me, Super Sam? <laughs> Heck yeah. Super Sam, we're going to. Yes, we are going to. And good luck with that. Good luck with your own place, Super Sam. There ain't nothing like having your own place. For real. Amen. Yes. Super Sam, when you get your own, man, when you get your new place, what? What about the chicken? You going to have a pull. <laughs> when you get Super Sam, I'm telling you, when you, man, let me know. Let me know because me and Giggles, we, we Yes, Super Sam, we're going to be happy for you. Mm. 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 Yes, Super Sam. Mm. 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 Yes, Super Sam, let us know. That will be awesome. And uh, we're going to, like we said, we're going to do game night. And we're going to do poetry. I'm going to post it to let everybody know if you got some poems, it got to be some good poems. No, not that nothing they got to be good. No, yeah, nothing nasty. No, uh, no, no nasty poems, you know. <laughs> nothing that, that's going to kick you off the show. Huh? That's how you feel, just hold it in. Yeah, hold it in, hold it. Squeeze, you squeeze. What are you saying? How, how you say it? I, that's the thing I got to get. Squeeze really tight. Squeeze really tight. tight. And then let loose. <laughs> I squeeze really tight. And then I let loose. Yes. I'm about to get it right now. Yeah, <laughs> get it. Get that. That's what we should have. But listen, yeah, we're going to have game night and try to get a lot of people on there. A lot of people come on, play. You're going to ask 10 questions. I think my gig, maybe 10 questions. You only need, you only need to get five right in order to win the teacher. Should we do something like that? Yeah, you 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 said five. I said more than five. I know you're so tough. Gosh. Yeah. 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 And you're gonna win a t-shirt. Win a listen up, listen in t-shirt or a mug. It's either a t-shirt or a mug. Roses are red. Super Sam says roses are red, violets are blue, poets and true. Skibili bopy bippily do. I like that. Roses are red, violets are blue. Life is sweet. So are you. Tripping and tracking. Falling mushrooms and onions. The last week I put on those shoes and they hurt so bad I realized I was getting a bunion. 
And that's all I got to say. I love it. Yeah, Super Sam. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy it. We enjoy you. Yes, we definitely going to have uh, poetry. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Yes, the, the, but I'm happy that the WNBA is back. I love that sport. I think it's fun. It's, it's a family of event, especially for the kids. It is just a lot of fun. I love it. I love the WNBA. New York City playing at the Barclays. <laughs> yes. Many years ago, they used to be in Madison Square Garden, but they are no longer there. Madison Square Garden still does their shows and stuff, and special events. But WNBA is now at the Barclays. And Barclays, the seat's a little, you know, uh, uh, you know, excuse me, excuse me. You'd be like Nutty Professor, excuse me. me it's a little tight. <laughs> but you have... You got to be like, excuse me, man. Mm, sorry. Uh, sorry about your toe. Oh, sorry. That's your knee. Oh, pick it up. Ooh, hold on. But <laughs> you got to make the best of it. Uh, the way they make these stadiums, I went to stadium in Queens to see Anita Baker. <laughs> and um, it was so tight. Like, I started, wanted to sing like Anita Baker. <laughs> I ain't got no room for my shoes. <laughs> Who do I go to complain? Trying to see if I could get room. This feeling so new. Caught up in this just no room. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was tight. I had a good time. I need a baker show. Babyface was there. It was a great show. Enjoyed it. I was all the way in the back, though. She looked like a little aunt. But it's all good. I knew who she was. You know what I'm saying? I had, you know, I waited the last minute to get the tickets. And I was like, is that Anita? The only way I could really tell it was her because I had to look on the screen. But the fact that I was there meant, meant a lot to me. I went with my other best friend. We had a good time. And it was a good show. It was good, you know. Uh. Shout out to Babyface and Anita Baker. Because, you know, they did their thing. They did their thing, you know. Yeah. But I'm definitely looking forward to WNBA uh, gig. Can't wait till we go. We got to go. We missed today. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah. I wasn't able to watch it on television. But uh, I can't wait. How about you? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, because you went, you know, Gig never went to, I went to the WNBA many years ago. And when I took Gig last year, oh, my gosh, you would have thought she was the referee. I was like, if you don't calm down for they throw a towel up here and hit us in the head. She was like, hey, what are you doing? You had the ball. Why you didn't shoot it? Come on. I was like, yeah, calm down. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> the gig, it ain't easy for them to run back and forth. It doesn't matter. That's the career they chose. You got to play right. Shoot the ball. Oh, my God. She's at the line. I'm like, yo, why don't you just get down there and be on the mic? Shh. She's at the line. Oh, God. Okay, it went in. It went in. <laughs> ah, she missed it. Dang, dog it. Yo. <laughs> She was making up words that I never even heard before. I got scared, and I moved over to the next seat. As I said, you know, I don't know what's going on with you, but if this game is going to change you, I don't think we should come back. <laughs> she was going in, but she was excited, and she was happy, and she had a great time, and that's what counts. My, my bestie had a good time at that game. Thank you have fun, you. game. Thank you have fun, giggles, and it show it show that you was really enjoying it. Yes, I had fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Entertainment. You know, they put the dances on. The little kids be dancing, and they got the senior citizens that's dancing. So shout out to WNBA. They be doing their thing, and shout out to New York Liberty. <laughs> New York Liberty. Is that your team gig? You rolling with New York Liberty? Don't just yeah, roll with yeah. them because you're from New York. You know, you can like another team, you know. Oh, I know that, but no. We we, we sticking with New York. 
Exactly. Brooklyn. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. New York Liberty. Yeah, Brooklyn. Slash Brooklyn. Because they playing in Brooklyn. But they are the New York Liberty. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. Uh, well, we wanted to talk about before was I seen um, on Instagram this young lady. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Now, everybody, I don't have coins. I don't have coins on my feet. Coins usually come from tight shoes. And sometimes, I guess, you know, you wear these shoes and they look nice and presentable. And you continue to wear them, but they're really tight. And you constantly, constantly wearing this shoe till it forms a little bubble. <laughs> and those <laughs> bubbles can travel. <laughs> and those bubbles turn to coins. Not broccoli, not tulips, not strawberries or raisins. They turn into coins. <laughs> And this particular young lady was getting surgery done. She had a corn on every toe. But that's not it. I'm not knocking people who got corns. I'm, I'm really not. She had double corns. She had a farmer's market corn of corns. Over. Yes. She had the first row of her toes were corns, then the second row. On those, now, how long are our toes? Our toes ain't but so long. So she had a first row of corns, and then she had a second row of corns. I want to know what type of shoes were you wearing in life? Maybe her situation, I don't know. I don't know the young lady's situation in life. I don't know what she went through. But I've never seen somebody who has two rows of corns on each toe. So the doctor's job was to fix the first row. And then she was going to come back and start on the second row. You know, how you be in that auditorium and the teachers let the first row get up first and they move out. <laughs> and then, then they go to the second row, tell them to stand, <laughs> to exit them out the door. That's what well, you compare it to. Well, that's what I, I just want people to understand how her toes look. She had a corn. Uh, listen to me. The circle. The circle. If you know what a corn is, it's like a little circle. She had a circle on each toe. And then as you move down, maybe just not even a dot. It was another set of corns. How do you have, we have five toes. So she had five corns on the first row and then five corns on the second row. So all together, what is that? Ten corns, isn't it? Well, am I, am I counting right? Five and five is ten. So. Ten corns on one foot. One foot. The second foot, I believe, was the same thing. So all together, that those feet accumulated 20 coins with no farmer nearby or supermarket. 20 coins. How do you get 20 coins? Now, bunions. Now, bunions come from if you wear in your shoe and the first toe is, it's not more. It's not really being tight, but it's pushing the bone. So your first toe is hitting that top and it's making that toe push, push that bone out. And that's how you experience bunions. Now, bunions hurt because I got like a, a little one, but not enough for it to be operated on. Bunions hurt. Like that little bone to the side of your foot. You know what I'm talking about, Gay? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Do you got a bunion? Yeah. Do you got corns or bunion? No, because ain't Told no you, amount of pain. Listen up, listen in. You got to speak the truth from listen up, listen in. No, I've never had one because I make sure my shoes. First of all, who walking in shoes that hurt? I can't. 
Like shoes that are tight. I can't do it. I can't do it. If the shoe don't because come, the, another style, right. I don't But care. sometimes people be getting these shoes and they be like, it's the last style. It's the last size, girl. And it go with my outfit. Be. I have got to get this shoe. And they will wear that shoe. Then now you after but it, but, but 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 coins don't happen overnight. So that means you are wearing that constantly shoe constantly. Worried. Right. And you in pain. You ever see some of these girls? They be looking so nice. Oh, they be dressing so nice. And when they it's be walking, working. they be in so much pain for that one night. I'll be cracking. My up. thing is when I used to wear the, the heels, and I have heel spurs, so I can't keep a heel on long. I carry my slippers. Egg. Wherever yeah. I'm going, if I'm dressed up and I got a heel on, I have to have slippers because when you have heel spurs. It is very painful to wear heels. But if I'm dressed up and I'm going to an event, I want to look nice. And it happens, that shoe happens to have a heel. I want to wear it. But I have to have backup because I can't stay in that heel all night. I'll be in tears. If anybody is a heel spur sufferer, trust, I, you know what I'm talking about. My shoe it's no off, joke. Period. Yes. I kick my shoes off like Patti LaBelle. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's not my it's size. It's not meant for my shoe. It. I kicked it off. My feet not hurting for nobody. At the concert. Oops. Damn. Did it hit you? Mm, <laughs> so, mm, mm, mm. Somewhere over the rainbow. Feeling a bunion coming on the side. Ooh, baby, this thing hurts so much. It's something I can't hide. Yes, onions are no joke. Some people got to get operated on it. Operated on it. Did I say that right? Some people got to get it operated on. (laughs) Something is in this coffee. Oh, baby, somebody done slit something in my coffee. Because I keep sipping it. <laughs> yeah. Bunions can get so bad that you got to get it up. You got to get up. You got to get operation. Yeah. I've um, seen a lot of shows with, I've seen a lot of shows about feet. It ain't no joke. Your feet hurt. Let me, nah. you, let me tell you something. 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 When your feet hurt, everything is just goes wrong. Your feet and your back? No. What's the worst pain? Toothpaste. Tooth, tooth. Tooth. I would have to say tooth, yeah. Tooth, tooth is. <laughs> I said toothpaste. That's what hurts most? The toothpaste. Yeah, a tooth ache. That's connected to a lot. No. Oh, the brain, the cells, the eyeball, the ear, lips, the nostrils, the chin, everything. the tongue. Your tooth hurt. Everything hurts. Man, your tooth hurt. You be ready to. You be aggravated. Your tooth hurt. That that thing hurt bad. But bunions hurt. If you got bunions, you can get them fixed. Get them fixed. Cause I've seen people with bunions, and I mean they it's really bad. Like it looked like it hurts so bad. Like if you touch it, it just like that. Remember that movie? I'm gonna get you sucker. When the guy. Oh yeah, I remember that. You know, and he just died. I can't think of his name. He oh, was yeah, the I one, I think, did, yeah. with the, yeah, he was the uh-huh. one with the, um, the big foot. And that foot swole up because he said it was his bunions. Oh, baby. Bunions ain't no joke. Definitely got to go to, <laughs> what's this, biscuits? PB, join the room. What up, PB? <laughs> Put all them big biscuits up there. What's them, um, what's them, uh, looks like pancakes, ew. Pancakes? A pancakes or biscuit? That I don't know. Like They're pancakes. looking, making me hungry. Yeah, pancakes. That's what's up. Pancakes. All right. Trying to make us hungry up here. All right. I feel you, baby. I feel you. Got them making pancakes all lined up. Uh, who me? Yeah, making Am you I hungry? hungry. No, I just ate. I just ate. I'm good. I'm surprised you're not hungry. You're the one that always 
I'm hungry. Soon I will be. I'm hungry. Yeah. So we talked about WNBA coming back. We talk about, you know, take care of them bunions. If them bunions is hurting, baby, go to the doctor, get them bunions taken care of. And them corns. Get them corns taken care of. No. Because they hurt. You're walking around, you want to show them little feet. Because men got corns too. Men, men get bunions too. It's not just the women. You know, don't be in pain if you can, you know, avoid it. But stay away from them tight shoes because that's where them corns is coming from. I don't care how pretty that shoe is. And if it ain't meant for you, it ain't meant for you. Don't stick your foot in there. You know, just because the shoe, if you look at Cinderella, she had a little struggle putting that foot, that shoe on her foot too. She probably had a bunion. She probably had a yeah. corn. They ain't gonna tell you everything on a on a on a on a little kitty thing. They ain't gonna tell everything now. You know, talking about that her foot went right in. It was them shoes. Them shoes look like they hurt on Cinderella. You know, she ain't probably won't say nothing because she's looking for the prince. She need the prince. But I'm pretty sure she ain't put them shoes back on. So if you got some probably tight getting... shoes, yeah, she got some. You got some tight shoes. Get rid of them shoes. And if you got a bunion coming in, I mean, there's things to help your bunion out. They got the things that you can put over your foot to try to cover the bunion and kind of help it out a little bit. And that bone start curving, though. It hurt. Trust me. Ooh, it hurt. But don't make it worse. And if your bunions are out of control, like really in pain, you probably want to go ahead and get that operation. Some doctor says that there's an operation where... They don't have to really shave it down. Because normally, when if you have a bunion, you have to get that bone shaved down. It's just an operation. You got to get it shaved. But um, shave them dry. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> but uh, we talked about what we talked about, uh, WNBA. Oh, uh, I forgot. What was, what was the other we topic, talked about Gabe? Bunions and funions. Let's see. It was bunions. And then it was something else. Oh, just regular talk about life. Yeah. 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 So what are your plans this week? What you got going on? Let's see. I have an interview and then All right. Of course you know we gotta work out, do our thing every day. What? Yeah, work out what? Work out oh. our bodies. Oh yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. All right, we can do it. Yes. All right. Whatever you say. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday's a new start. What are we going to do? The Walking Lady on YouTube? What? What is her name? Do you know her name? No. Is she called lady. The Walking Lady or we just named her The Walking Lady? We, I typed in, well, we named her the walking lady, but you type it in, she pop up. <laughs> yeah, she, she's good, man. She will help you do that, get that cardio going. You got to get me the arms, lady. Oh, yeah. You got to do that. You know, I can't work with you with that. I know. I got this cast on. I, I can't, can't do no arms. I move this arm and it pop off. Oh, God, no, but, no, no. <laughs> you know. I got to do things slow now. I can't. You be trying to think like you let I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. You be going crazy. Yeah. One hand on you. One hand on you. No. <laughs> no, you be acting like the nutty professor. No. Mm-mm. Next thing you know, you be ready to clean a caboose. No. Good night. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, good. Nope. You gotta get that too. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I sent you the other one. The, um, the squeeze really tight. It's in your message. <laughs> you did? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you sent that. I'm glad you sent that. Yeah. It's cool that we came on Sunday sipping on some coffee. We said we were just gonna do an hour show. You know. Get everybody just hyped up, get ready, prepare for Monday. You know, that's what it's all about. <sighs> gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up. New York, New York Liberty, 
Yeah. I'm glad people came on the show. You know, I know I'm making it a little short tonight, but, you know, got a lot of things to do. You know? Hey, Gig, I ain't tell you. I want to um start Spanish. Yeah, you told it's, me. I need a little Espanol. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put Mandarin to the side for a little bit, because with Mandarin you really gotta focus. It's, it is Spanish. a very tough language, huh? Spanish is easier. Yeah, I, I know. No, a little. I, I took Spanish in school. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I those know. Those are the numbers. Those are the numbers. Once, twice, thrice, quatorce, those quince. Those are the numbers. I know. I know. <laughs> Six, six, six days. I know it. Don't tell me. Shut up. Yo, you shut your mouth. Six days. Wait, wait, six days. I know it. Um, what is it? Uh, Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, October, Noviembre, Diciembre. I got this, baby. Boy, I'm gonna be like, Bruh. hey, let me tell you. Que la colo casetita, el lavato, el emite calinta. You're going to be, so, oh my God, you're going to be so jealous of me. You're going to, oh, girl. You're going to, what? I'm going to be like, you'll be like, yo, please, you ready for the show? Por favor. Mucho. Que lo que pasa aquí? Of course I am. What do you think? Come on. I'm going to have a little music. Ding, 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 ding. Listen up, listen in. Ding, 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 ding. You're going to, you're going to hate. I'm going to learn Spanish because I should have never, you know, you learn it in school, but, you know, hey. I'm going to get it. We all learn it. And my little niece, my little niece is studying it. My little nieces, they studying it. So we going to be, hey, ding, 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 ding. We going to do it up, baby. We going to do it up. Six more minutes to the show. I just want to thank Super Sam Jr. for coming on. I want to thank M X Q G R D W G for coming on. Oh, and I want, 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 I want to thank Armida for coming on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And PB with all them pancakes going across. Oh, we got somebody else that came on. Elect Empress 88 joined the room. Oh, what's up? Yeah, we was just going to make it short tonight. You know what I mean? Doing a little hour. And uh, we came on last night. I'm trying to break it up a little bit. You know, I ain't trying to stay on too long. You know. But it's Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Make it a good day for you. And um, do what you got to do. Baby, you know how it is and listen up, listen in podcast. I am Pweezy. I want to thank Giggles for Go coming down, on. www.listenuplistenin5687.com. That is my website. Please go check out my website. Listen to the episodes and give me your opinion on each episode. Hit me with that five star, baby, because that five star. Ooh, just does something to me. It's like eating a yolk peppermint patty. And you know, you get that cool and minty sensation. <laughs> Check me out on Facebook. Listen up, listen in. Instagram, listen up, listen in. 5687. When you click on Linktree, you will see all the podcast platforms that I am on. And if you do want to be on my show as a guest, you're an entrepreneur, you have a career you want to talk about, you want to promote your book, you want to promote anything, that's positive. Let me know. We'll talk about it. You know, go on my website, fill out that form, and be a guest on Listen Up, Listen In Podcast. Season 2 is coming in July. Oh, baby, check out my episodes. You're going to have, you're gonna love it. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to love it. You really are. And, um... I just want to let everybody know you got to live, laugh, love. You have to. Love yourself because you can't love anyone or anything unless you love yourself. It has to be self-love in your life. Keep God first. Love and squeeze your family and your pets because they family too, just a little bit tighter every day. The world is crazy. Stay healthy. Stay focused. I love you, mommy and daddy, forever. Yo, Gig, you know how we do. I really appreciate you coming on. 
I know this episode is short tonight, but um, this is what we do, you know. Not too always, girl. Bye. Yeah, this is what we do, baby. This is Hold what it. we do. This is what we do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank everybody for coming on. I don't know when we're going to come back. Hey, Super Sam Jr., take care, baby. Take care, baby. And um, we appreciate you coming on. And good luck with you getting your place, baby. Let us know. Yes. And listen, we are going to do a game night. We're going to do a game night. Um, where we're going to give out some gifts. T- listen up, listen in t shirts. And uh, listen up, listen in mugs. We're going to do it. You know, I hate that. I got to end the show because I said I was only coming on for an hour. And Slavinsky came on. Slavinsky, appreciate you coming on. We might be out. We might be back out on tomorrow, and uh, we just decided to come on tonight. Tomorrow, gig. What time do you think we should come on tomorrow to let the peoples know? Same time, same time, same back channel. What do you think? What do you think? Same time, same place. What do you think? By nine o'clock, nine p.m. Maybe. What's tomorrow? Nine Monday. Yeah. What we gotta do? What we gotta do Monday? Nothing. No. I gotta take my little son to see the eye doctor. Yeah, that's in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 9 is good. Oh, yeah, 9 p.m., guys. Mm-hmm. 9 p.m., we come on and uh, chit-chat and all of that. You know, just talk about some things. Maybe y'all can share what you did, some work experiences of your day. Let us know what took place. On a mad Monday. Until then, God bless everybody and check out a few commercials before we uh, Do you have a passion project you want to bring to life? Let Jamila Adams at Your Service help you. Jamila Adams at Your Service was created to assist businesswomen 40 plus by bringing their passion project to life through website design and marketing. Visit her website, jamilaadamsatyourservice.com, and register for a free 30-minute consultation. Remember, you have a voice. Use it. Check out Hostile Therapy with Big Red on Thursdays at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Live on YouTube. My God, garlic powder, paprika, pepper, salt. Rub it down, the dog mad. Orange juice, oil on the vessel. Rosemary, beer. Sit it on the beer can so it can be flavorful. Tie it down, zucchini on the bacon uh, and some cheese. Roll it up, roll it up. Oh, you're making it look pretty and presentable. Put it in the mailbox smoker. Let it cook a little bit. Oh, two hours later, what do we have here? The next thing popped up out of that thing that lets you know that the food ready to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. what the dog doing? Oh, Lord. Uh, You're trespassing on my t- property. You didn't win sh- in my yard. Wait, 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 I, all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Get everybody out of my yard. Oh,